Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can provision your Yaling T3 series IP phone. So this method, we're going to be using a zero touch provisioning method. Now, obviously you're still going to have to touch the phone to like put it through some prompts. However, this phone, as soon as it boots up, it should ask us for our extension and our voicemail pin. Once it has asked us for those two credentials, it will automatically contact the PBX to download the configuration files. The normal way you would provision this is going to the web interface accessible by the IP address of the phone. And then you would go to the provisioning menu and then you would paste the provisioning URL. However, some PBXs will not have a provisioning URL and th that might be a cost for you. And if you want to do this for free, you would have to enter the credentials manually, which is time consuming if you're planning to set up, let's say 50 phones for a, a school. So what we want to do is that we're going to go over to our PBX. In this case, I'm going to be using 3CX. I'm only testing this with 3CX, so if you have any support with other PBXs, I don't think I'll be able to help you with that, unfortunately. However, 3CX, I do recommend 3CX as it's very, it's free, and however, and you can host it on your own server. So anyway, back to provisioning. I'm just going to choose 475 as my extension uh, name. I'm just going to do demo. All right. We're going to go to options. Uncheck block remote phones. And if you're going to be using some legacy phones, check PBX delivers audio. Examples of legacy phones would be the Cisco 7821 or the Yealink T29E2. We're going to go to voicemail, make sure voicemail is enabled, choose your PIN number. This is going to be used as the password for provisioning. Go to phone provisioning, click add, choose your phone model. I'm going to be going with the Yangling phones. And then just paste that MAC address. Okay, once that max MAC address has been pasted, we're going to go to provisioning method. So, we're going to want to choose direct SIP or stun remote. If if you have a 3CX SBC or loc if it's in the local LAN or in the office, this method of provisioning wouldn't really be required. However, we're going to use direct SIP because this server is in the cloud. I don't know, once that's done, you can customize uh, the phone settings here. I'm just going to keep it the same. Actually, I'm going to keep choose ring too. And yeah. All right, now once everything's done, click OK. As you can see, the, my extension 475 is now an entry. Now, what you want to do is to plug in the phone. Okay. The phone should start booting up. If you have a PoE jack, such as like, it's basically just um, an ethernet port, but with PoE, which is power over ethernet, you'll only need to use the ethernet port this can plug into your poe switch a poe injector that also connects to your router or uh, some other network configuration you have i'm just going to be using um, the power socket anyway now we're on the home screen now if you see a no service and warning indicators you can go ahead and dismiss that oh. Now, as you can see, the configuration is updating, and now we're at the redirector screen. What we want to do for the username part is type in the extension 475. Of course, your extension may be different. Now, to go to the password, click the down arrow. 
Now that you're the password section, make sure you're in one, two, three, which is the format. So you need to get the password, it'll be voicemail pin one, two, three, four, or your suggested voicemail pin that you set. Once we have that set, we're gonna to want to click OK. The phone's gonna do some checks, and once everything has passed, it will automatically reboot the phone, and your phone should be registered to the PBX. As you can see, the, pass the test has been satisfied and the phone is now rebooting. While the phone is rebooting, it is now downloading the configuration file files. The phone is rebooted and now we're at the welcome screen. The phone should boot up in a few seconds now. The phone's now going to connect to the network. And it should register. Oh, as you can see, 475 demo. And we can see a green dot. Now, of course, you can program these functions by holding down. However, if you don't want to program them from the phone, instead, your system administrator can go to BLF and then choose. I'm going to do the first one is line key and the second, uh, let's say, a BLF to the master bedroom. I'm going to click OK and it should populate on the phone. It might take a, a while though. While that um, tries to populate, we're going to try connecting to voicemail. Please enter personal identification number, then press pound. As you can see, it connected successfully. You have no messages. Thank you for uh, watching this video. If you have any questions on provisioning your phone, do not hesitate to ask me in the comments below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.